。您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是英语口语训练二。Hi everyone! Welcome back to Conversational English, Unit Four, Lesson Eleven. Today we're going to continue preparing for that trip to Hong Kong, a business trip to Hong Kong by the Hudsons. Today's lesson is called "Someone Sounds Really Sick." Our preview. Tells us that Betty and Edward must still visit a drugstore and bookstore. They decide to do these chores separately to save time, to have more time for dinner together. 好，那么我们今天呢，要来进入这第四单元第十一课呢。那么这个我们的男女主角 Betty 还有 Edward 呢，为了要这个能够省下时间一起吃晚饭，所以他们决定分头去办事。那这两个人呢，要分别还要去这个药局跟书店。那我们可以看到今天的标题呢，叫做“有人听起来病得很严重”。那我想大家都可以猜得出来，那大概是哪一位喽 ？This kind of lesson we can call a twofer. That means two. For one, my e sum e. That's good. And you'll see exactly what I mean after you finish watching with us now, the first playing of today's dialogue. Four o'clock. We'd better step on it. I know. Um, why don't we split up again? You can go to the drugstore, and I'll hit the bookstore. Cause you are the one who needs air sickness pills, and I'm the one who wants certain reading materials. Hmm. That sounds good to me. I can't wait to put down these groceries. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Now can we meet back here at six? Okay. You got it. There's something I can help you with, sir. Uh, actually, yes. Uh, I'm in a bit of a rush. I need a bottle of aspirin,、mm -hmm. something for an upset stomach, something for diarrhea, and something for air sickness. Someone sounds really sick. Oh no,、uh, it, it's not for me now. But I'm taking a trip, and I just want to be well prepared. Where are you going? Central Africa? <laughs> no.、Uh, well, you see, Hong Kong. Hong Kong? You can get anything you want in Hong Kong.、Uh, maybe, but I'll feel better if I get everything ready now here at home. Be prepared, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Everything you need is on aisle six and seven over there. When you are finished, come back to me, and I'll check you out. Thanks. See you later. See you. Do you need help, Miss? Well, actually, there's something you could tell me.、Um, I want this magazine here, but I also want one or two more on interior decorating. Hmm. Let's see. Besides the one you're holding, we have a couple more right over here. In the home improvement section. Oh, that sounds great.
And we also have some magazines devoted to subjects like furniture, carpenting, and do-it-yourself repairs. Oh, that, that's perfect. Um, I'll browse for a while and then bring you what I want at the checkout counter, right? Right. Take your time. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, that's the first viewing of today's dialogue. Of course, we'll have a second viewing near the end of the program. Yep. Uh, let's take a break and then come back for our usual part three words and phrases. Okay, now that we're finished with the break, let's take a look at that all-important vocabulary. Step on it. Step on it. 加快速度. I just need to use the bathroom for a minute. You'd better step on it or we'll be late. 我需要上一下厕所,你最好快一点,不然我们会迟到哦. Hit. Hit. 去. Before we go home, I need to hit the DVD shop to return these DVDs. 在我们回家之前,我要去一下DVD店把这些DVD给还了。Air sickness pill. Air sickness pill. 晕机药。People who feel uncomfortable flying should take one or two air sickness pills before boarding the plane. 搭飞机时会感到不舒服的人应该在登机前吃一两颗晕机药。Mockingly, mockingly. 挖苦的. Sam mockingly called his car king of the road, although it was old and in need of repairs. Shamu,挖苦的昵称,他的车是道路之王,即使他已经十分的老旧,而且也需要修理了。Exit,离开。After the movie, please exit from the rear of the hall. 在电影播毕之后,请由影厅的后方门离开。Here I should remind everyone that Exit or exit, the two pronunciations both are correct. 嗯,所以这里呢,Bruce老师提醒大家呢,这个我们离开的这个动词呢,可能有两种发音都是正确的哦,所以第一个是 Exit, z, the exit. Or s, exit, exit. Okay, and this word can be used as a verb or as a, a noun. noun, right? That's right. 所以呢,也可以当成名词,就是讲出口。那动词就是讲离开。Exit yeah, okay? number one. 出口一号,出口二号,这样子。Okay? Let's continue. Directions. Directions. 方向. Tom had to ask for directions because he had never driven to his uncle's small village before. Tomu因为从来没开车到过他叔叔住的那个小村庄过,所以他需要问路. Notice, notice. 发现. Sheila noticed a spider crawling up her jeans, and she screamed loudly. Rush, rush. 匆忙. Every workday morning, about 8 o'clock, everyone is in a rush to get to school or work on time. 每天早上八点左右,大家都会匆忙地赶着准时上班或上课。A word about rush. 
like uh, number five, exit, you can use rush as a verb or a noun. As a noun, very often we find it in the phrase in a rush, but it can also be a verb, often with the adverb around. I have a lot to do. I have to rush around downtown this afternoon to get a lot done. Mm -hmm. OK， 所以这里呢，一样，这个像第五个单词一样 ，Bruce 老师提醒大家 ，rush 这个字，它可以当名词用，也就是我们这里常常看到的 in a rush， 或者它也可以当动词用。哦，像刚刚造的这个句子，要到这个市中心赶去办很多多的事情， mm -hmm. 这样子的用法，所以两个都可以。OK， let's continue. Number nine is aspirin. Aspirin. 阿司匹林。The doctor told me to take two aspirin and call him tomorrow morning if I still didn't feel well. 医生要我吃两颗阿司匹林，如果还是不舒服的话，明天早上再打给他。Upset stomach. Upset stomach. 肚子痛。After eating half a pizza and three pieces of fried chicken. And drinking a big bottle of soda, Arnold had an upset stomach. 在吃了大半块的披萨、三块炸鸡，又喝下了一大罐的汽水之后，阿诺的肚子就开始痛了。Diarrhea. Diarrhea. 腹泻。The students didn't boil the water from the river. So they all came down with diarrhea. 学生们喝了没有先煮开的河水，所以他们每个都打拉肚子。Central Africa, Central Africa. 中非。Far from development, Central Africa is still a wilderness area. 因为没有开发，所以中非依然是块荒芜之地。Incredulously, incredulously. 吃惊的。We watched incredulously as the magician sawed the woman in half and then put her back together again. 我们吃惊的看着魔术师把美女锯成了一半。又把它拼起来。Be prepared. Be prepared. 准备妥当。Why are you taking so many things like a medicine and snake bite kit with us on the picnic? You never know. Be prepared. 你为什么要在野餐的时候带那么多的药，还有蛇咬的工具包呢？因为你永远不知道会发生什么，所以要准备妥当啊。Head off, head off. 前往。As soon as the caged birds were released, they flew straight up and then headed off in different directions. 当笼子里的鸟一被释放，它们就马上飞起来，而且是飞往不同的方向。Meanwhile, meanwhile. 同时 Mom was in the bathroom taking a bath. Meanwhile, Dad was in the living room watching TV. 妈妈在浴室洗澡的同时，爸爸呢在客厅看电视。Approach, approach. 接近 As the speeding car approached Daniel, he quickly ran across the street and out of the way. 当疾驶中的车接近丹尼尔时，他快速地跑过马路，以躲开那辆车。Home improvement. Home improvement. 居家修缮。After the typhoon. Melvin and Dolores went to the bank to ask about a loan for home improvement. 
在台风过后，马文和迪洛斯去了银行为居家修缮贷款。Devote to, devote to. 致力于。Frank decided to become a priest and devote his whole life to helping others. 法兰克决定成为一名牧师，并奉献他的一生，致力于帮助他人。Subject, subject. 主题 This part of the library has books on subjects like geography, history, and philosophy. 地理、历史和哲学主题的这些书籍都集中在图书馆的这一区。Carpeting, carpeting. 地毯。Tina decided that she would replace the blue carpeting in the hallway with gray carpeting. Tina 决定把走廊的蓝色地毯换成灰色的。Do it yourself. Do it yourself. DIY. Do-it-yourself books and DVDs on how to build and repair furniture have become very popular in the last decade. DIY 组装和修理家具的书，还有 DVD， 在这十年来变得十分的畅销。Browse, browse. 浏览。Many teenagers in Taiwan like to spend hours in bookstores browsing through magazines and comic books. Taiwan, many teenagers like to spend hours in bookstores browsing through magazines and comic books. Taiwan, many teenagers like to spend hours in bookstores browsing through magazines and comic books. Taiwan, many teenagers like to spend hours in bookstores browsing through magazines and comic books. Oh, take your time. We still have over an hour before we have to go. 我会尽快准备出发的。慢慢来，我们离出发时间还有一个小时。Well, as usual, after such a long list of words and phrases, we are ready to take a break. 嗯，好，所以呢，哇，这一次的这个礼拜的资讯补给站非常重要，所以一开始 Bruce 老师就说他会这个呃、uh, push on， 或者是呢 urge 各位同学，就是督促各位同学务必务必要这个看，为什么呢？因为如果你是到一些英语系的国家旅行，那有时候呢，在出门在外的时候，他这个身上呢，先带一些这个小小的一些药。那这些药呢？刚刚讲到这个 O T C， 就是指非处方的药。所以刚刚呢，同学可能听到有一个字是 Bruce 老师讲说，没有医生的处方就可以取得的这种药，或者我们说成药。那这里医生的处方呢，就是 prescription， right？ Can you spell that for the students？ Sure. P R E S C R I P T I O N. P R E here means before. S C R I P means to write, and then shun. 
So the doctor must write something before you can get that medicine. That is a prescription. That's right. 所以呢，我们知道说这个呃需要 prescription 就是需要处方才能取得的药。那么 OTC 呢，就是相反，它是不需要处方就可以取得的。所以呢，这个比如说像这个刚刚布鲁老师有举例，他显然很有经验。比如说感冒啊、呃，或者比如说肌肉酸痛，或者是你有一个 upset stomach， 就是这个肚子痛。好，那么这样子的情况下，呃，带一些这种成药呢，自己就可以马上解决这种状况。那么刚刚这个布鲁老师也提到，如果在英语系的国家，你知道怎么说这些药的名。Right,、uh, aspirin, which was number nine on our vocabulary list, is probably the most common medicine or drug in the world. And some of you may have wondered, why do you say two aspirin in the sentence? The doctor told me to take two aspirin. Awaisma buja s fusuba. Well, usually for medicines, we don't add a plural. So take two aspirin. You could also say take two tablets of aspirin, two pills of aspirin. But the drug or medicine name itself, we usually don't use a plural. Two Valium, two aspirin. 嗯，好，所以这里又提醒了另外一个重点了啊、哦，就是呢，这个两个阿司匹林跟一个阿司匹林，为什么那个 aspirin 的后面都不加 s 呢？那么 Bruce 老师提醒大家可以写下来，就一般呢在药的后面我们是不会去加复数的。那会加复数的状况是什么呢？就是如果你的前面有量词啊，比如说 two tablets 就是两锭。啊，或者是这个 two pills 啊，两颗这样子的这个量词的前面会加 s， 然后后面呢 of aspirin 还是一样的哈，所以呢这个是重点可以写下来，而且你刚学那个蛮像的，就是为什么后面不加 s 呢？ I hear it from my students all the time. Yeah, I know, but that's a good point. 对，这是一个重点，大家可以写下来。Well, we hope you won't have to、uh, learn all these over-the-counter names of medicines, but at least In your textbook,、uh, you'll have that information if you need it. Now let's get ready for my favorite part of the program: the quiz. Today's quiz is actually pretty easy, so you should do well on it. And、uh, by reviewing, it helps us to remember the information we have just taken a look at. What we're going to do today is ask you whether a certain product would be found in a bookstore or a drugstore. Very simple. If you think the th item or product will be found in a bookstore, you write B for bookstore、uh, in your textbook. If you think it should be found in a drugstore, then write D. 好，所以各位同学，今天的 quiz 很简单啊、哦，我们有五个这个东西，这五个东西分别呢，要让大家来选的是说可以在药局买得到，还是在书店买得到。所以我们现在赶快跟 Bruce 老师一起来做做看。All right, number one is Almanac. Almanac, is that drugstore or is it bookstore? Well, how do I know? You know, because an almanac is a book. With lots and lots of information in it, facts, useful things, or just interesting things. So of course we'll find it in B bookstore. That's right. So, 呢，我们看到第一题呢，这是年鉴。那么年鉴当然是在书店买得到。Number two is cough syrup. Cough syrup <coughs> is cough. Syrup is a thick liquid. Put them together, and of course, it beca becomes a kind of usually OTC medicine. There you go. You'll find it in D, drugstore. 嗯，好，我们看到第二题呢，它是咳嗽糖浆，也就是刚刚说的 OTC 是一种成药、非处方的药，所以答案我们当然会选 D， 在药局。Next is number three, Atlas. Atlas. An atlas is a book. Which is full of information about geography, especially maps. So again, B bookstore. That's right. So we see the third question. Atlas is a map. So of course, you can find it in the bookstore. Number four, tabloid. Tabloid. 
A tabloid is a newspaper, but uh, it's uh, not a very good source of factual information. It's not what we would call a good newspaper. Uh, it's exciting, it's colorful, has lots of pretty women in it, uh, not uh, very much useful information, and sometimes very questionable information. Um, it's a good thing to kill time with, but it's not a good reference material to learn something from. Again, that's right, B Bookstore. That's right. So we look at the third tabloid. It's just a kind of popular magazine or a kind of regional local paper. So there are many of them that are quite interesting, but they are not necessarily correct. They are just to kill time with some kind of content. So of course, we still know that we should choose B because we can buy it in the bookstore. Our final item is number five, lozenges. Our final item is number five, lozenges. This is plural, lozenges. Remember cough syrup? A lozenge is for, usually for a cough or sore throat, but it's something we like candy. We put it in our mouth, we suck it, so of course it is a drugstore item D. 对，那么第五题呢？这是含片的意思，口含片，所以我们选 D 在药局。Now let's take a look at our dialogue for the second time. It's almost four o'clock. We'd better step on it. I know. Um, why don't we split up again? You can go to the drugstore, and I'll hit the bookstore. Because you are the one who needs air sickness pills, and I'm the one who wants certain reading materials. Hmm. That sounds good to me. I can't wait to put down these groceries. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Now, can we meet back here at six, OK? You've got it. There's something I can help you with, sir? Uh, actually, yes. Uh, I'm in a bit of a rush. I need a bottle of aspirin, mm -hmm. something for an upset stomach, something for diarrhea, and something for air sickness. Someone sounds really sick. Oh, no. Uh, it, it's not for me now, but I'm taking a trip, and I just want to be well prepared. Where are you going? Central Africa? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, well, you see, Hong Kong. Hong Kong? You can get anything you want in Hong Kong. Uh, maybe, but I'll feel better if I get everything ready now here at home. Be prepared, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Everything you need is on aisle six and seven over there. When you are finished, come back to me and I'll check you out. Thanks. See you later. See you. Do you need help, miss? Well, actually, there's something you could tell me. Um, I want this magazine here, but I also want one or two more on interior decorating. Hmm, let's see. Besides the one you're holding, we have a couple more right over here in the home improvement section. Oh, that sounds great! And we also have some magazines devoted to subjects like furniture, carpenting, and do-it-yourself repairs. Oh, that, that's perfect! Um, I'll browse for a while and then bring you what I want at the checkout counter, right? Right. Take your time. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, that's it for Lesson 11. Next week with 12, we still find the Hudsons out of their home getting ready for that all-important trip. Join us again next week. Till then, bye-bye. <laughs>